Welcome back to lunchtime here on ENCA. Now, the city of Durban is expecting thousands of holiday makers looking to enjoy the coast this Easter weekend. Our reporter, Mawande Keswa, is out and about and joins us now live. Mawande, can you tell us a little bit of what um, it's looking like out there in the moment? Well, it's reasonably uh, quiet with a steady flow of traffic in the ways of people on the promenade from the people that I've tried to speak to. It's not so much visitors, but uh, there's a little bit more of locals rather than uh, visitors. However, things do seem to be looking up, particularly for establishments in and around the area. We did get a chance to catch up with the Etewini Mayam Olisi Kaunda, and this is what he had to say. We have invested about 33 million rands in terms of our beach management system to ascertain that we deal with the issues of landscaping as well as greening projects that we are implementing as a city. But part of what we are doing is the sand uh, drift removal from the promenade where we are standing. This has yielded positive results. Last year we attained uh, 12 blue flag status of our beaches, so we continue to maintain and preserve the environment and the cleanliness in our city. Uh, we are estimating that in terms of uh, the hotels and the bed occupancy will be seated around 55%. And we also expect more than 42,000 visitors to come to our shores during this Easter holiday with an estimated uh, uh, GDP uh, contribution of about 151 million rands. So we are ready and we have deployed law enforcement agencies uh, to ascertain that the safety is guaranteed. And we are happy to welcome all our visitors just to risk discover Durban and get all the feeling and get the taste of tourists that they are always looking for in our shores. When looking at the number of visitors that are expected, which the mayor estimates to be at least 42,000, Police say that they are ready to deal with any issues that may arise and also to instill law and order. We did catch up with Metro Police and this is what they had to say. What I've noticed, the beaches are relatively quiet. Uh, people started to come to the beaches at, after 10. Road, road network, roadways were quiet. We travel on the N3. I had an aerial view of the view of the N3, N2, and various arterial roads around. Uh, roads are ex uh, relatively quiet. I can I can confirm. However, there were a few accidents, and what we have noticed is ill-disciplined drivers on a national freeway making U-turns before the accident. We have also noticed that they're driving contraflow before the accident whilst making their U-turns in face of oncoming traffic, which could cause serious collisions. All right, let's leave it there. That was, of course, our reporter Mawande Keswa out in Durban for us.